Saturdays at 11. Um, as a people chair, if you need blocks underneath your chair so your hands can reach, use blocks or use, um, or use, uh, you have I think, blocks. I am going to mute you all, though so, um, we can come back at the end. Mute you all. Okay, so we are going to do some interesting, a new, I know I like to have you guys uh, learn different pranayamas. And pranayamas are our breath control, and it's a very important part of yoga. And we always talk about our apajapa breath, which is our regular breath that we, just our breath of awareness is called. It's actually not even just our regular breath. Our regular breath is just every day as we breathe. There's so many layers to our breath. So it's a really, I know that sometimes it's a little frustrating to start a class like, oh, I was th thinking I was gonna move, but it's actually part of the practices to really center and find just a few moments to understand that your breath is everything. And if you have that, it's a hard concept, especially if you're new to yoga, but once you start unfolding, it's, you're gonna start to really understand that. So we are gonna start centered, let's center, and then I'm gonna come back here um, in front because I think it's important that I'm close so you can understand what we're doing. But let's start centering first and then we're gonna do our breath. So we're gonna center just so you have your tall spine and your feet are grounded. And maybe lift all 10 toes and then lower them down. Press your feet super hard into the mat. And remember, no shoes or socks, try to turn off any TV, maybe if you have beautiful music, put that on. And plug your sit bones into the chair. And again, off the back of your chair, this isn't the time to settle in and get comfortable. Really, yoga is about actually putting your body in uncomfortable positions and breathing through it. It's really what it is. So, so really pressing your sit bones down, elongating your spine, navel starts to hug in. Inhale, roll those shoulders up and exhale it back. Just inhale through the nose, exhale it out of your mouth. Let that tension go. One more time. Inhale, bring it on up, exhale, lower it on down. Pausing here, chin is level. You're sitting tall. Imagine a string at the top of your head and someone is pulling you to the North Star. So your navel must be in to sit tall. Your shoulders must be back. Your heart must be beaming forward. Pausing here for a few breaths. Navel in, connecting to your breath, closing your eyes, finding a few moments of stillness here. And notice that beautiful apajapa breath, as I told you, that is just the breath of awareness, just hearing it in your ears, just noticing your breath coming and going through your nostrils, not your mouth. And just notice, it's so important to notice. That is a wonderful breath. So that's just one breath. Keep breathing. There's another kind of breath, as we call in yoga pranayama, which is our life force, our energy. And the other breath is that ujjayi breath. I know I teach you that a lot. It's that ocean in our ears where we extend the breath longer, counting three or four seconds on our inhale, matching it to our exhale. Start that now. Really concentrate on that breath. Counting, constricting the back of your throat like you're fogging a glass. Hear that ocean in your ears. Make it meaningful. Quiet that mind. We do need to train in quieting the mind. It doesn't come naturally. Human beings have hundreds of thoughts that pop into our mind. Our job is to control all of them. You can't control all of them, but you can try, and this breath is your journey there. Keep breathing. I'm going to share a thought that I wrote a few days ago for a few other classes as well as for you because it's so meaningful to me. I really want to share, you know, this world has been very chaotic lately, so I really want to share my thoughts with you today. Feeling out of control. When we feel things are out of control, we get scared. When we get scared, we start to feel hopeless. When we feel hopeless in our lives and unsure of what's to come, we get angry. All of our lives have been forced to change. Shelter inside, wear masks, stay six feet away. This 
is not part of our human nature, our human DNA as humans are social beings. We need to hug, kiss, congregate and connect with others, not pull away. We can choose to decide to take matters into our own hands, fuel the anger within us all and rally with these negative thoughts and negative people and feed the anger and feed the fury for all we lost these past three months, including countless innocent lives at the expense of COVID and racism. Or we can take that same heat that is within us all and shift it into positivity and create a new world for yourself. Use that same energy and heat to create a new life for you, be it as simple as a beautiful meal for yourself or your loved ones, or taking a nice long walk and smiling at your neighbors under that mask. Even if no one can see it, you know it is there. Do it for yourself. You deserve that and so much more. So with that, maybe setting an intention or dedication for your practice today. As always, a wish or a dream, or maybe some empathy, send it out to the universe, breathe through it. Three loving breaths here for yourself. Two more breaths here. One more breath. And when you're ready, just tilt your chin to your heart space, opening up your neck, but make sure your navel's in now. I know we tend to lose it, shoulders back. Inhale right here to your right shoulder. Breathe here, maybe walk that left arm out, grab hold of the chair, just extend it out. You get to choose. And if you like, you can extend that right arm, reach up for that left ear, let the weight open up that Neck and while you're here, maybe just do some circle rolls with your left shoulder one way and circle roll maybe three times the other navel in, tall spine and breath. Don't forget to breathe and bring it all back through center, chin, hands and pause. Sit tall, shoulders back, inhale, left ear, left shoulder pause. And when you're ready, just walk that right hand out to the side of the chair. Decide if that's enough or you'd like to extend that left hand. Bend the elbow, reach up and over for that right ear. Let the weight just open you up just for a breath or two as you start to roll that right shoulder a few times up and away, maybe forward, maybe back a few times. Really nice, but always know, be gentle and bring it back. I forgot to mention, and lift your chin, crack open your eyes, take in the room. I forgot to mention, always trust your body. That is a very important thing. I want to remind you as we're here in our practice. So as I was saying earlier that breath is a super part of yoga and we need to remember that, I know it seems a little uncomfortable, I'm going to teach you a new breath. I know I've taught you Ujjayi breath, Apajapa breath, and now I know we've done even that Kalabhati breath, which is like the heart opening and it's a forced exhale, which is great for our lungs. This one is called Nadi Shodana, which is our, it's our alternate nostril breathing, which is very interesting. We can actually breathe through one nostril at a time if we can train ourselves to do that. I'm still figuring that all out without the hand, but we can do it and practice. And it's great because it builds our lungs. It actually works out our lungs and it works out like like almost like you would be in physical therapy for lungs. It, it's like that kind of breath because it really, it's focused breath. But it's also important because we have all these energy channels in our body and there is the male, they say, which is the, the, the there's the female, which is the left side of the, the left side of the body, which is I'm mirroring you. And then there's the male side, which is the right side. And that's like the fist, right? The, the testosterone. So we balance both sides by plugging our nose and we, we get the center channel, which is called Shishuma, which is our center energy channel. And we balance it. And because we all have a bit of male and female in us and we need to learn how to balance that a little bit more. So let's start. So we're going to, we're going to start with our 
take our hand in front of our face. This is going to be hard because I'm mirroring you. So um, I'm, I'm going to try to mirror you. Let's say take your right hand in front of you and then take your, your pointer and your like take your peace light finger and just put it on your third eye, which is your forehead. Then extend the other two fingers, your thumb, place it on your nostril and take your, your, your forefinger on the other nostril, the ring finger. And, and, and now we're just going to actually just lift your, take your ring finger and press it down and thumb lift it up and take a deep breath in through the mouth. Now we're going to start just using our nose. So we're going to breathe out, take it, breathe out and then inhale through that same nostril and then plug the left nostril and open the ring finger and breathe out. So inhale, ring fingers open. Now plug the ring finger and open the, the thumb and breathe out. Inhale, plug, open, exhale. And keep going. Inhale through, plug that nostril, open that other one. I know it's a little complicated at first. And then start to Sit tall and keep going. I'm gonna do it with my, with my right hand so you can see. And just keep going. So you're doing an exhale and an inhale on one side. And plugging that ring finger and opening up. And then inhale, lifting at the top of the breath. Then you plug and open and keep going a few more. It's not easy, I know really is slow and steady. Make it long and deep. Don't make it short because you need all the air you can get. And when you're done, take your hands to your lap, close down your eyes and pause. Nicely done. Now we're going to get moving. Let's begin. Good job, everyone. Let's take those hands out again. Let's just make sure we're sitting tall, our feet are grounded, navels in, tall spine. Take those arms out, hands are up to the sky. Stretch them out, sit tall, chin level, plug in those feet. Don't let those heels lift, mine started to. So now I'm gonna scooch forward more just to make sure your feet are grounded. And let's rotate those hands and take those palms down. Inhale, palms up, exhale, palms down. Sit tall, navel in. Inhales and exhales. This is showing you, you have ultimate control of those shoulders. Your shoulder rotating now. Strong arms. If you have a micro bend in the elbow, that's okay. You'll eventually get here, but you have to keep practicing. Our body doesn't do it because we want it to. I know I tell you that. I used to believe that myself. I'd go to doctors myself and say, can they fix me? No, I fixed myself. I had very, I'm, I'm telling you, unless there's something really bad going on. You, your back pains and your side pains and your sciatica, we have that power to fix it, we really do. Inhale, arms come up, exhale, arms come down. Let's just like swim them up and down. Inhale, but hug this little bone here. We're not just flapping, we're reaching, like someone is pulling those arms. That's the real work, the energy. Bring it on up on your inhale, navel in and up tall spine, and flap those wings, but purposeful flaps. Nicely done. Maybe the next one we're going to gaze up now. Inhale, gaze up, chin lifts. I know it might hurt the neck a little. Exhale, lower the neck all the way down. Maybe take the hands all the way down. Inhale, let's look up, gaze up, navel in. Exhale, lower those arms all the way down, chin down. Keep going. Inhale, let's do it three more times. Exhale, tall spine, plug it all in. Inhale, Look up, gaze up, navel up, exhale, look down, gaze down, navel still in. Inhale, lift up, we're pausing here, and we're gonna twist to the right. Take your left hand to the outside of your right thigh, right hand behind you on that chair. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, look over your back shoulder. Pause here, breathe here. Inhales and exhales. Arms come back through center, gaze up, navel in and up, exhale, we're twisting the other way. Left hand behind you, right hand to the outer edge of your knee or thigh or chair. Inhale, sit tall, exhale, twist. Keep breathing here, inhales and exhales. Back through center on your next inhale. Nicely done. Let's interlace our hands 
and bring them on forward. Pull them forward. Sit tall, navel in, plug those feet in. If you need to come forward so your feet are grounded or put your feet on blocks, do it. Strong arms. Inhale, bring those arms all the way up. Someone is pulling you up, navel in. Inhale, look to your right. Exhale, center. Inhale, left. Exhale, center. Keep going on your breath. And one more round. Look to the right and center and left. And swim those arms back down. Take a moment here. Let's interlace those hands again in front of us. Now they're out in front. Inhale, tall up. Sit up. Exhale, we're going to round our spine like we're doing cat count. I'm taking those hands in front of your upper head. I'm going to come to the side and show you. Inhale. Bring it on up. Navel in. Press into your feet. Lift up. Exhale, round your spine, navel still in if the back of your lower back is touching the chair. Okay, that's fine. Inhale, sit tall though. When we sit tall, our back releases from the chair. Exhale, round. Not easy, you're really working this. Beautiful. Inhales and exhales. A little different cat cow than we're used to. Movement and breath. So breathe deeply in through the nose. Exhale out of the nose. That is how it's done. In the nose, long and deep, that ujjayi breath. Exhale, let all the air out. We need to learn how to use our breath here. When we breathe full breaths, we have better lung power. Our energy in our body moves better. Things don't get stuck. When things get stuck, pain happens. I'm a very big believer in moving your energy, moving everything, getting that blood moving. Beautiful hands. Swim down to the side, nicely done. Let's take a little side stretch. Maybe take your right hand to the side of the chair. Inhale, left arm lifts up and just take a little side stretch. Coming on over, maybe your gaze is up at your left arm. Pause here, bring it back through center. Left hand comes to the side of the chair. Inhale, right arm up, navel in. Just tilt over as much or as little. This feels good for you, maybe gazing up at that upper arm. And breathe, nice and done. Let's go two more times. Inhale, up and over, maybe a little faster. And back through center and left. And one more round here. On your own breath. Just don't crunch in the lower back. So that's, when I say don't crunch, it means make sure your navel is tight because then all of a sudden we start to round our back and then we do a twist while we're rounding. And then we say, oh, why does that hurt? That's why it hurts, because you have to do it right. So we're trying and we're learning and we're practicing. And practice never makes perfect, but practice just keeps building on each other. So nicely done. You know, let's just take our hands behind the chair for a moment and just open our heart. Just beam our heart forward. I'll show you what that looks like on the side again. Press into those feet, navel in, and open your heart. Chin up, navel in, heart forward. Very vulnerable position here doesn't feel comfortable. I know that. Over time, this becomes so wonderful. It's like I need to do this every morning now because it's, it's really powerful. To be in your heart forward shows you're proud, shows that you're worried, shows you're not scared, but it's also so good for your body. Let it all go. Nicely done. I'm gonna come a little bit forward on the chair. I'm just gonna reposition this a little bit because I wanna make sure you see me my feet. Okay, so pressing into those feet, let's come a little bit forward, navel, and we're gonna do our sun salutations. Reach up, heart beams forward, arms come together, maybe your gaze is up, navels in and up. Exhale, we're forward folding, swan diving those arms, those long arms, we practice them, but we're leaning forward now. You're really feeling it in your feet and your navel. Pause here for a breath, extend those arms, Really extend them straight, press into your feet. You're feeling it in your navel, you're feeling it in your thighs. Nicely done, we're slowly coming down. If you could go down and just let your hands drop to wherever the blocks or the mat great. If not, then keep your hands on your thighs as you slowly fold over and then take your hands down. But the goal is the hands rest on something, either the mat, the floor, the blocks, books, drop your head fully and breathe here. Letting your back body open up. 
and breathe. I know we're, we paused in our sun salutation, but it feels so good on the first one, just to take a little pause. Inhale, prepare your spine. Hands come to shins. This is the work of the navel and pressing into your feet. Now we're here, we tend to round here our shoulders. Let's try to beam our heart forward. You see the difference? I'm gonna show you that because it's an important step. Here, sometimes we like look forward like this. We can either look forward like this, or we can look forward with the flat back. That's when we say flat back, so we're not like this. We're heart forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse the swan, press into the feet, arms up, gaze up, and hands come back through heart center. Let's do it again, we'll do a full one now. Press into the feet, navel in, tall spine, inhale. Arms up, gaze up, navel in and up to prayer. Exhale, swan dive, strong arms over, and press into the feet, hands fold down onto the mat, floor, blocks, drop your head. Inhale, lengthen hands to shins, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, press into the feet, navel in and up, arms up, gaze up, hands come to prayer. Let's do it one more time, we're gonna add a little twist to it. So inhale, navel up, arms up, exhale, swan dive. Remember, if you need your hands on your thighs as you fold, come on down, hands rest on the blocks, and pause, drop your head. Keep your left hand under your face, strong arm, press into that block or the floor. Right hand comes to your right thigh or right hip. So wherever it is, and use that thigh to press you open. Helps twist your body. Then if it's okay, this is where a wonderful place to stay, by the way. If you have it available, this is not easy, lifting that right arm and your gaze. The gaze follows is an neck stretch. Pressing into both feet, don't wobble because sometimes we tend to want to put the weight on one foot here and bring that arm down, not easy. Drop your head, go in the other way. Right hand under our face, grounded in feet. Start to twist to the left, left hand to either thigh or your left hip. As you use it, twist your body, feel your twist, but your sit bones are grounded. So you're doing the work, you have an edge. There's only one place to go and then the left arm can lift, use your grounded, Right hand to help twist you now if your left arm is lifted. One more breath and the left hand comes either to the thigh and then down or all the way down, drop your head. And reverse your swan, arms are coming up, navels in and up, gaze up, exhale, hands to prayer at heart center. Nicely done. Okay, let's do a few little hip circles and we'll get going on our legs. So we're coming forward a little bit, hands to our hips, we're really off, like, like, Mostly, maybe, maybe about halfway off your chair. And let's go forward and go around the clock with our, with our hips, beautiful hip circles. We're using our body. So inhales forward, exhales back. Inhales and exhales. Make it your own. If you'd like to close down your eyes. But always notice as you come through this, you might at like two o'clock for me, I always feel a little tight, so I'm showing you. Pause there, kind of work it out. Really kind of get into it, maybe get a little deeper, use your body, and then keep going. Let's go the other way. And as you're going through it, maybe you'll notice. Do I have a tight spot? Well, I can stop there and breathe through it. Mine here is like 10 o'clock for me. So at 10 o'clock, right there, I'm feeling, I'm starting to find that I'm actually stopping there, I'm pushing in to my right thigh a little. I'm, I'm mirroring, I'm not mirroring you, so you have to figure it out on your side. And keep going. One or two more rounds, nicely done, and we come back through center, grounding in our feet, sit tall, off the chair a lot, so navel's in and up, I probably have about Almost a foot off the chair, so navel in, heart forward. We're doing our reaches. You know I like our reaches. So let's start. Let's reach up to start. Let's reach up, grab, and make a fist and bring it on down. Keep reaching. Up, gaze up, and bring it on down. We're making it a little bit active. Inhales, exhales. Reaching up for that hat in the top cupboard or in the, the top closet. Inhale, and bring it on down. Keep going, inhale, reach, and bring it down. Elongate your body when you reach, and bring it down. Now we're coming in front, forward, reach, and we're pressing into our feet, navel in, and we're bringing it back, heart center. Reach forward and bring it back. Forward and back. Open those hands, we're working on our fingers too, and bring it back. Keep going. And we're doing both hands this time. 
And we're going down, we're picking the puppy up, pressing into our feet, navel in, pick up that puppy, put it on your lap. Reach for that kitty, reach, 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 feel it in your lower back, press into your feet, navel in, and bring it. Let's keep doing this. Keep going. And on your breath, inhales and exhales, just to make sure you know this is wonderful. Nicely done. We didn't do the one at a time. I figure we got to mix up a little bit. And bring it on back. Nicely done. Take a breath. Maybe take your hands to your, your thighs. Close down your eyes for a moment. And just notice your breath. I know mine is moving. Maybe take your one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Sit tall. And just feel your pranayama. Feel your beautiful, beautiful life force. Nicely done. Hands come rest at your at your thighs. Let's just bring those shoulders up. Exhale, round the back. Inhale, roll them on up. Exhale, roll them back. Inhale, roll them on up. Exhale, back. Let's keep going a few more times. Sit tall, rolling those shoulders, isolating just the shoulders. Not easy. And go the other way. And breathe. Beautiful, beautiful job, everyone. And nicely done. We're pausing for a moment, coming back a little bit more in our chair. And we're going to lift our right knee up and bring it on in a little bit and maybe point and flex that right foot a few times and do some circles always on your breath. So like inhales, exhales, inhales, exhales. Never rush it. Going the other way. Inhales, exhales. When we rush, we get hurt. It's true. I'm a rusher, I have to admit. I have a lot of, they call it, uh, uh, there's a, like a fire, I think it's called tapas. And I have a lot of it. And so it's like I'm a hummingbird. There's a lot of different ways to kind of channel that. And yoga is a really great part of that. It really helps me. So let's do some circles with those, with those legs. So you get to decide, you can use your hands there, or if you have the inner strength on your navel and sitting tall, maybe you're doing it without your hand, or maybe you're doing it with one hand and go the other way with a hand on the knee. So you get, or hands behind the thigh, you get to decide, maybe you're not even really, they're just there to guide. They're not really, you're not putting the weight on. So you get to decide because it's your practice. That's opening up your hip. And let's open it up more now and bring it back. So again, you're using your arm, you're using your hand, you get to decide, or you're just using your navel and doing it on your own. Certainly not easy. One more round, wherever you are. Nicely done. And we're gonna take that foot and cross it over. If you have it available, this isn't working for you, then just cross it at your shin, okay? So there's always a place to go in yoga, I always say that if you can do the full, that's wonderful. And now we're gonna tee out those arms. Remember, we've done these a few times. So let's hug our left arm under our right arm and open up those arms. You can either stay here and do a few twists like this. Okay, so this is one. You look one way and look the other. And then you lift those the hands up, the back of the hands touch. This is eagle arms, right? Eagle legs and eagle arms. And we lift our elbows, or we can keep going and get those hands in prayer. So there's lots of places. Maybe you're just at hugging the back. Navel's in, and we lift those. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. You're going to feel it in your, in your upper back, in your shoulders. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. You're feeling it in your navel. Sit tall. Your grounded left foot is grounded. Inhale, lift, and lower. And one more time. Lift it. And lower, nicely done. And let's flap those wings and let's just take those knees in a circle, take those little windshield wiper legs and let's ground in that other foot and crossing your, I think I, I, think I wasn't mirroring you before, so I'm not sure if I mentioned to, I'm mirroring you now, but you know which side you did, so let's make sure you do the other. I don't recall if I told you which foot to start with. So we're going the other way. So whichever leg is on top, that's the hand. We tee out the arm. That's the arm that you hug under. So if your left leg is lifted, then it's the left arm. If it's the right leg that's lifted, to the right arm. Okay, so hug yourself. Next time, we'll make sure I cue that right. And pause here, so. 
top leg and is the same side as the under arm. Hope that, hope I wasn't confusing. And then lift. You don't have to lift if you want, this is enough. If you're like, now my, my fingers and hands feel all contorted. It does take time to build to this, by the way, I remember. I remember being like, all oh, like, like a little bit like this at first going, is this right? And you're like, how does she do that? And lift it up and over time, you do learn it. So you have to find your way. And again, we don't have to rush into it today. Inhale, lift those elbows. So if you're just hugging yourself, that's enough. And keep going left and right. Exhale, lower them. Inhale, sit tall, navel in. Lift them up, huge. Any place you are, you're opening up your back right here. And you're opening up your shoulders, which we all need. Inhales and exhales. And one more time. Inhales and exhales and Fly your eagle arms up, legs and hands come down and windshield wiper them. Beautiful, beautiful job. Grounding in your feet, coming off your chair slightly. Now we're coming much more far. You know we're gonna do everyone's favorite, which is the squats or the chair pose, or whatever we like to call it today. So really grounding in those feet. All four corners are grounding, navels in. You have a right angle here going on. You're not too close, you're not too far. You're you, you need your knees over your ankles for this. You need your heart over your pelvis. Sit tall, and we're gonna start just with the reaches, but navel to spine. I can't, can't tell you that enough, okay? And reach forward, navel to spine, flat back, and bring it on in. I know we did a few of these earlier, but we're really getting into where it's eyes now. And we're gonna start slow, inhales and exhales. Forward and back, let's do a few here. Reach and bring it back. Reach and really lean your heart forward, you bring it back. And so you can decide to stay here. If you like to press into your feet, now you've caught some air and you're bringing it back. So that's the other place or wherever you are, either catch air and bring it back. Maybe your arms are coming up more. And back, so this is chair pose, Utskatasana chair. And the last place is, if you come here with me, you can just pause. Can you hold it together? Are those arms up? Is your tailbone down? Is your navel in and up? Find your breath. Press into all four corners of the feet. Navel's in, strong quads, strong legs, strong everything, strong arms. And land back down. Everyone hands to your thighs, close down your eyes but make sure you don't round your spine. Navel in and up and find a few breaths just to catch your breath. Nicely done. Stand, sit tall. Let's extend that right leg. You're on that heel. Maybe your foot is on the block, whatever you need. Or extend that foot out in front and make sure you're grounded in your right foot and your right knee is over your right ankle. So you are on the edge of the mat on um, the edge of the chair a little bit, tall spine and that, and that right leg is out, you're flexed in that foot. And that right foot is under that right knee, okay? Um, or whatever, the left foot is under your left knee, sorry. Inhale, coming forward. Now this is wonderful. I'm gonna offer up, if you have blocks, it's nice to have it on either side here. This is wonderful. We're coming into our seated Parsvottanasana. So when we come through it, we wanna have a flat back. So maybe hands, to your hips just for a minute, tall spine, beam your heart forward, shoulders back. Now decide, start to fold forward. You get to decide. You want to take your, your, your left forearm to that, to that knee and then slowly come forward and you can take your right hand to that block, go for it. Maybe take both hands to the block on either side of that front foot. You get to decide, but as we're coming forward, where navel is in, we're beaming our heart forward, we're not rounding our back. Remember I showed you? The round back could look like this. The flat back looks like heart forward. As you forward fold over that front left straight leg, of course it has a micro bed, I always say that, and that foot is flexed. This is a, like a pars forward tanasana. It's a pyramid forward fold. Always know where you Need to be, maybe those hands can come further down. You get to decide, drop your head. And let your lower back open. Let your breath move you deeper here. 
does take time to release that hamstring. One more long, slow inhale. Exhale, maybe you'll feel yourself creep down ever so slowly. Nicely done. Inhale, gaze forward. Here we go. We're going to lift up. Not an easy way to do this, but you can do it one of two ways. One is if you have the energy, press into that grounded flat foot, that left foot, and lift up hands to hips. Or if that's too much, just put your hands to your thighs, use your thighs, and a little bit of your navel to lift. So you see how you can grow to working your body. And then bring that leg in. We're going the other way. Extend that right leg, uh, that left leg out and grounding in that right foot. So that right foot, right knees over right ankle. Take your blocks to either side of that front leg. Any blocks, books, books, anything you got. And flex in that foot. Hands to your hips. Sit tall, navel in and up. Heart beams forward, chin up. Exhale, we're folding forward with that right foot. Flex, right leg straight, micro bent knee. As we come forward with the flat back, beaming our heart forward. Decide right when you get to when you need, if you need your forearms down on your thighs, do it. Or can you get your hands to those blocks? Any height, inhale, lengthen, exhale, forward fold. When you feel comfortable, drop your head. Now start to engage that ujjayi breath. Start with the slow breath. Count three or four seconds on your inhale. Match it or extend it on your exhale. Notice how you move deeper here. Slow and release. And one more breath. Soften where you can. Again, important how we come up. Inhale, heart forward. Always important how we arrive in a posture and how we come out of it. Okay? So, Decide if you need those hands on your thighs or, or forearms on your thighs, do it. Or do you have the belly strength? Put your hands on your hips, navel in, flat back, slowly push up, not easy, back to your seat. Lovely job, everyone, beautiful, beautiful. We're gonna, we're gonna come right to a quick few standing postures. And if this is not for you, if you're not up for standing today, I always say, do some bicycling, do some rope climbing all in place on your chair. So keep your energy going. We're coming back in just a few minutes. So please do that. So we're starting in our downward dog. Hands come to the backs of the chair. Make sure the chair is stable. And our feet are in our hips distance. I always show you, you either do two fists in between your arches or you take your, your toes to your ankles. That is in our hips distance. So make sure your feet are in our hips distance and start to walk them back and start to Bend your knees, real big bend, tailbone starts to lift. You see, if I don't bend my knees, my tailbone goes down, tailbone's lifting, my, my back is flat, even though nobody's back is really flat. That's when I say flat back, I don't mean make it flat, because we all have curves in it. Hands are resting, and then we're dropping our head, so our ears are in line with our upper arms, strong arms, strong legs, strong micro bend in your knees, or full bend, you get to decide. Downward dog, feet in our hips distance, press into those, all four corners of those feet. Don't let them wing out. They tend to want to do that when you activate other areas. Find your breath. That's a hard thing. Because when we get into all this, then we all start realizing, oh, we're like kind of, we have those short breaths again. So now find it, breathe into it. Downward dog, not easy. Breathing here. Take a step up with your left foot. And we're going to pivot our toes off to the side and we're going to bend in that, in that left foot. And we're coming into warrior two and we're taking that right arm back. I'm not mirroring you here. I'm just saying it as we go. So left foot is center, right in the middle. Left knee is over left ankle, right? Left hand is on the chair, right hand is behind you. Your back leg has a little little angle towards the toe and the back arm is lifted and we can take that arm up and the right arm can come down let's bring it back up sink more in that in that front left knee and bring it down warrior two beautiful job everyone one more try and bring it on down nicely done and we're going to just switch sides so we're going to shift our hips forward and step up 
and take a giant step back. And now I'm going to show you, I'm going to switch myself. You just get right into it. So you giant step back. So you have a basically like a leg's distance and you deep, deep right knee bend, right knee over right ankle. Your hand is on the chair. You can even have it out. You can have it bent. There's no wrong way. And that back arm, back hand, that left hand is on your hip and your back foot, foot has a pigeon toe, which is like a slight angle and your leg is straight as much as you can and that arm can come out, that left arm out, deep knee bend. You're feeling it in here, I know. And inhale, bring that arm up. Exhale, extend it down. Inhale, bring it on up. Exhale, bring it on down. And one more time. Inhale, bring it on up. Exhale, bring it on down. Nicely done. And coming forward again. And let's do one more downward dog. Just to open it up. So take your feet in our hips distance. Deep knee bend, drop your head. So good. And by the way, I'm just going to show you since I have a wall here and I can show you that you can do downward dog on, on the wall. So you can just take your hands off the wall. Anytime you wake up in the morning and you get a nice hamstring stretch, this is wonderful. And it's also, you see, I drop my head. Notice, I don't know if you see that. Maybe you can see it over here. Yeah, you can see here. I'm dropping it. I'm getting such an amazing shoulder opener. Oh my goodness, my head is coming down on my shoulders. And I know we all struggle with shoulders and neck so often. I feel like that's where almost everyone keeps their attention. So nicely done, everyone. Let's come back to our chair. We definitely need that. We have a few more postures and then we're done. So coming forward ever so slowly, this is the ones that I love, kind of my, one of my favorites. So we, and I think it might be yours too. So interlace your hands on your knee and do a few circles one way, a few circles the other. And let's move into our pigeon and let's just cross that right foot and put it on our knee. I always like to end here because I feel like it's a really great way to end a practice. I just do that in my normal practice and I almost never skip a pigeon. So flex in that foot. My body craves it, but if you, your foot can't be here, have it down here. So press that foot in, sit tall, navel in, and pause, tall spine, and start to come forward, noticing, is your heart forward? Is your foot flexed? Is your left foot grounded? Hands, palms, whatever, forearms can melt down onto those thighs as you beam your heart forward. I keep showing you the difference, how you can come forward with a rounded back, which I will show you as you're there if you'd like to see. If you're in your posture and you know it, you got it, you don't have to listen to me. But you can come down like this and everyone thinks they're in it because they feel it. But you see my back is not, that's not, that's not okay. So navel in, tall spine, shoulders back, chin level, and coming forward, flexed foot. And look, I may not come as far and I'm, Fine with that, but my back isn't now getting getting messed with. Like that is really, if you're rounding your spine here, you're really kind of putting unneeded pressure on your lower back. Your your heart is, your whole front body is inactive, and we're really not in the posture properly. So coming forward with your heart, they always say this, leading with your heart. So just imagine there's like somebody's grabbing your heart and it's on like some sort of string. Someone's keeping you up as you lift, go down. That's a hard concept. And you're gonna feel your left lower back. Oh boy, yeah. Because when I really force my heart up, I feel the posture differently. Connect with your breath. Always important to connect back to that wonderful breath. So if you hear the ocean in your ears here, you can stop the mind chatter. It's physically possible to do it. And then when you do it in your pigeon, you realize that maybe you could do it when you're lulling off to sleep, or maybe when you wake up at two in the morning, which we all do, let's face it, come on. And we all look at the clock and say, oh, it's so gonna be one of those nights. Inhale, coming up, and I use my dry breath, and we're gonna take that leg all the way over, and we're gonna find a little twist, go the direction of that leg, and inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist, over, looking one way, and keep breathing. Let's sit tall, tall spine, and maybe just turn your head, look over that back shoulder, look the other way, but tall spine. Inhale, back through center, and keep looking. That's a really great neck stretch, by the way, in the middle of a stretch. 
a side stretch. Now we're going to go the other way. I know we went, we went one way. We went, this is really called like an open twist. We're going to go to the other way. So it doesn't matter which side you went. And now we're going the other way. We're taking our back hand to the other way. We're taking our hand to the out of the chair or the outside of our thigh. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, look over the back shoulder. Breathe here and twist. And breathe here and look over your other shoulder now. And come back, inhale. And look over your shoulder and back. And one more time. Nicely done. Uncross those legs. We're we'll going the other side. Inhale, lifting that opposite leg. That would be your left leg. Bring it in. Maybe do a few circles one way. Do a few circles the other. And cross that foot. Pigeon in your chair. Seated pigeon. Finding both sit bones. Sit tall, flat back. Shoulders back, heart forward, flex foot. Find that breath, take a deep inhale. Exhale, maybe tilt a little bit. Another deep inhale, maybe those forearms rest on those thighs now, maybe push that thigh away. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Keep going, inhale. Ujjayi, in, ujjayi breath, inhale, ujjayi breath, exhale. Keep going, you're gonna keep going. Inhales and exhales until you find that edge. I always talk about our edge. And pause and close down your eyes. Find stillness. Surrender here. Take a few moments for yourself. Bring it on up, cross that leg over. We're gonna start on the open twist, which we're going towards those toes. We're leaning in, inhale, sit tall. Take that right arm behind you, left hand to your thigh or shin, and inhale, lengthen, exhale. Use the chair to help move you deeper. Twist, look over your back shoulder. Inhales, exhales, one more breath here. And pause, stay where you are, and just look over the other shoulder. Inhales, exhales back, two more like that. Inhale, tall spine, exhale, one more time. So we're, like I said, we did it before, we're just gonna go the other way. So again, if you got the wrong side last time, doesn't matter. Inhale, sit tall, take that hand to that thigh or the out of the chair, whatever you need. Back arm is behind you, inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. So now this is a, considered a closed twist because we're closing off a little bit. Inhales and exhales, a little harder. Certainly can't do this if you're pregnant. Inhales and exhales, so we do those open twists for people that are pregnant or have extended stomach. You know, you have to really be mindful. So if you can't do this, know that you always can do that. It's nice to know there's options. Looking over that back shoulder, like I always say, there's always a place in yoga. Let's go two more with that, with the neck, looking over and back and come back through center and uncross the legs. Find our Shavasana, pressing into those feet. If you'd like to use the back of the chair, be my guest, pausing here. Hands can rest, maybe stacking one hand on top of the other with the palms facing up and pausing here. And just notice where you are, notice. When you notice where we are now versus where we began, that's how we can make shifts in our lives. When you don't notice your body, then how do you ever change? If you don't notice your emotions, how do we ever change? If you don't notice your thoughts and what creeps in the good ones versus the bad ones, how do we ever change? It's our jobs to notice everything that goes on, on around us, out of our mouths and in our bodies. We have physical, we do things over and over again the same way, and we can't break our attachments. This is our jobs in life. It's our journey forever to always be aware of what you say, how you say it. I mess up all the time, and then I retract and apologize. We all have that power to self-correct, but it's a hard concept. Nobody ever wants to really own things because it's, we all have egos. But that's, yoga has allowed me to at least feel, see. If you have eyes to see, you can make little changes. So just noticing. I share that with you. Maybe get into your Shavasana. Make a few moments of stillness just for yourself. 
lowering everything, releasing everything back to your organic natural breath. Feel your chest rising and falling with that natural pranayama, that beautiful life force. Let's stay for 20 seconds. Have our stillness. Shavasana. As always, if you'd like to stay longer, please do. If not, just start to move your fingers and your toes, maybe rolling your wrists and your ankles, maybe coming off the back of your chair again, finding your sit bones, tall spine, navel, and hands come to prayer at heart center, bowing your chin to your heart center. Feel your heart energy, feel your heart breathing, feel that pranayama breath as your thumbs press up against your heart, as your shoulders roll back, beam, tall spine, hope. Thank yourself for showing up for you and only you today. I hope you bring peace and love and kindness and maybe a little empathy off your mat to somebody else in your life. Hope you find a beautiful, Wonderful Saturday. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Namaste.